I think has not gone out of the law. I am not a politician, but I was a witness to the case that happened in Kogi State when late Aldu was leading the PDP candidates with like 40 something thousand. As in this Osho case is 353 PDP versus APC. Then in Kogi it was 46 or 43,000. And total number of expected votes that cancelled votes was not even up to what Aldu was leading the other opponent with. So INEC said inconclusive. So I can't see a reason why INEC should not say inconclusive for a vote of 353 this thing. As, as far as I'm concerned, has not been biased so far. If Adeleke have been, what is the other guy name? If the APC candidate is the one leading with 353 votes and they still have 3,900 and something cancelled votes, I think would have gone ahead to say the same thing. People that are shouting now that they should have declared Adeleke, they were the one that, that was saying it was right for to have declared Kogi election inconclusive. 46,000 versus 353. They declared 46,000 lead inconclusive. Why 353? Why? I think they should have just let it fly because uh, situations like that can only arise in a poorly governed country. And the dream of having a free and fair election, I think, is far from us now. So we can be sure that whatever they do again will be as a result of further rigging and further corruption. So I, they should have just concluded. If it was APC leading, I don't think we'll be having this discussion right now. That is what I think. That is just my personal opinion. But we can see the case now as it is. But it all comes down to our, our integrity and how we are ready to accept what is in place. You understand? So I don't, I don't have any faith in our political system. So I think whatever they do, they should just let us have it. Away. To me, I would have suggested that to avoid problem, like um, something like riot or whatever, you should have do the needful to declare him a winner. But now he said that about seven polling units, the, there are irregularities there. That's why I said he knows better. So we shall allow him to do his work. Eh? We shall allow him to do his work so that uh, at the end of the day, the winner will emerge. Uh, if APC has been leading, uh, I believe he would have done, done the same thing anyway. Because I know uh, he's there, somebody put him there. Eh? So he must perform the duty to satisfy the conscience of every, everyone. To my own point of view, I feel an election that has been done has been done. And the result that is supposed to be announced, is supposed to be announced. There's no essence of saying um, the, the, the election is, incon the result is inconclusive, meaning there's something else attached to it. If you are running uh, in a democratic system, when, when an election has been conducted, the result should be announced. There's no point saying election is, the result is not conclusive. See when? What if they run, if they, if they undergo a rerun and um, the result still comes out and the same? What would they do? So I feel there's no point of, of declaring the result um, inconclusive. But if APC won, they would have declared the result, the, the, the election concluded. There wouldn't be any English like inconclusive. It's right. It's not like before. When anything can happen, they can regulation anyhow. I believe any have improved. Because watching the margin, they say that either the PDP has about other 3,000 votes or more than that, the APC, and they have about 7,000 votes. So you cannot just say that people should go like that. Those people should cast their votes. Let's see. Let them decide. It could not be different because ANEC has improved now. ANEC generally has improved. Because if it's APC, then APC have done something to do that so that they will give them the victory. Since they, it seems that everything is taking care, being here. I think it's trying, I think it can improve. So they cannot declare him because the scene still remains unconclusive. So they should allow INEC to do their work. Nobody should interfere in INEC work. They should allow INEC to do their work. Whoever the INEC declare, they win and let that person go. It's a writing called based on the result. Based on the result given. The numbers of uh, invalid uh, uh, papers are more than the valid one. What happened to Mr. A must happen to Mr. B. If it is APC that, that, is, that was leading and they discover such a thing happen, it's the same thing. ANEC will go ahead and say, no, the election is uh, inconclusive. There's not, uh, uh, ANEC are not partial. ANEC belongs to Nigeria. There's no belong to APC or PDP. Adeleke, that he won the election. 
If they say elections are inconclusive, why must they say Adelike is the winner of the election? No, I think they measure inconclusive. Adelike is an inconclusive election. Why must they declare him as a winner? A winner?